Hello, this is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show you how to use Pyro or Pyro Emitter Tag in new versions of Cinema 4D. First introduced in Cinema 4D 2023.1, the Pyro Tag allows to create simulations of fire, smoke and explosions from any object or spline. In Cinema 4D 2024 a similar tag is called Pyro Emitter. To show how this tag works, let's create a sphere make it smaller and apply a pyro emitter tag or pyro tag to it by right clicking on the sphere object, selecting simulation tags and clicking on pyro emitter or pyro. By clicking play forward button in the animation toolbar, we get the pyro effect. You can adjust various settings of the pyro to get the desired result. Now it's time to render the pyro. Unfortunately, standard and physical renderers cannot render pyro. The only renderer shipped with Cinema 4D that can do this is Redshift. So we open the render settings and select Redshift Renderer. Next we click on Pyro Output Object or Pyro Object. Check that all the necessary properties set to On Export in the Object tab. Select Cache tab, check the Enabled box, click Cache Scene button, select the folder to save in and press the appropriate button to cache our simulation. After the caching is finished, we open the Material Manager, go to Create menu, select Materials and click Pyro Volume. In Cinema 4D 2023, before selecting materials you should additionally select Redshift. After this we drag the newly created Pyro Volume material on Pyro Output Object or Pyro Object. Finally we click on Render and wait until the rendering is done. This is what we ended up with. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.